you know, I ooh, I am slightly disappointed. I thought this matcha latte was going to be, what is it called? I thought it was going to be more stronger, and yet it's not. I think my matcha latte game, not as good as it could be. What's up, guys? This is Biko from Kelso. Thank you so much for checking me out today. How are you guys doing? This is going to be a fun stream. I'm very excited to, to be talking about this. I know a lot of people have been talking about Final Fantasy pixel remaster you guys don't know what this is this is a redone of the older final fantasies hi you're not gonna like this this is milk my little boy my daxter just hello this yes this is milk hi i don't know it's not my best much no i don't think you'll like it Standing there like you. <sighs> Usually when he stands here, it's like he's expecting something out of me. Hi. What do you want today? He's not making introductions really good today. I am so sorry. <laughs> well, no. That's... But no, today is going to be a fun day. We're going to be playing Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster. Square Enix actually redid this not too long ago, about a week. So, I'm I'm very excited to be doing this. Um, I actually uh, I spoke to them and uh, they sent me out a copy, and I was able to get copies for a couple of other games. So I'm very very grateful to do that actually. So thank you so much to Square Enix for doing that. All right, Doctor Pistachio. I love that name. How are you? You don't look like Pistachio. I see them becoming the best versions of the games after a few patches, but honestly would rather take the OG most of the time. And you're not really wrong with that. I'm going to I'm going to put it like this. It does a lot. It does some pretty solid good things. But other than that, it is quite lacking a lot. We're going to go into some of the mods because you'd be surprised. There are mods for this game that just came out. Uh, I'll be dropping them in tomorrow's video. Hope hoping that the video should be coming in. Reading this cool. Usually, when he gives me this face, he's gonna either bite me, he's gonna want something from me. But no, that's what we're gonna be playing today. So, Square Enix sent me um, codes for Final Fantasy 1, 2, and 3. Uh, I was able to check those out. Uh, the video should be coming in tomorrow. So, if you guys wanna go more and more in depth of what this remaster is and what it does, Highly, highly recommend that. That's going to be coming in tomorrow. But if you just want a nice casual take, we're going to be doing that today. So that's what's going to be nice. The font mod, there is, like I said, there is a font mod that uh, came out. I think if you guys are interested, did I put that in the video? Uh, okay, hold on. Let me let me search this for you. Yeah, I think he uses one of those stock PSP fonts that was randomly used in a bunch of games. I don't think so. Uh, this one was done because this was not a PSP. I can guarantee that and we can I have PSP footage uh, That I just recorded a couple days ago. That's gonna be in the video, too uh, This is the link. I'm gonna drop here. This was created by Bateria Quetzal Very very nice If I could drop this in. All right, so here's the article that links that so if you guys want to check that out you can do that if you're if you're curious and you have that. Uh, but basically what this font does, it takes uh, the original font that was used in the Pixel Remaster and just gives it a more uh, pixelated look. And the nice thing is it doesn't just do it for English. It does it for Korean, uh, I think Japanese. Um, I'm wondering what else he does. Does he count? Oh, wow. This is incredible. Contains all the characters... For English, French, Italian, German, Spanish, Portuguese, Russian, Chinese. Let's actually, you know what? Why am I reading this? Let's take a look at this. All right. Actually, I don't even have my headphones on. I've been talking and I don't have my headphones. Okay. I forgot how much that slaps. All right. Let me turn on the listening mode. Cool. Okay. So let me show you how this is going to work. So let me go to browser capture.
I'm working with one monitor here. But I mean, this is kind of how it... All right. Perfect. Okay. Let me show you how this looks like. Oh my god. Whatever. All right. Uh, remaster replaces font. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. So you guys can see this. This is a very, very cool. This was uh, posted this on Twitter. August 3rd. Today is August 5th. Wow. There you go. Just released this two days ago. And Earthbound. So this is by Patera Quetzal. Uh, he did this and it looks like he's been doing this for a couple of other games too um very 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 cool so a, an earthbound inspired final fantasy pixel remaster replacement similar to what uh clyde mendeline used from mother 3. It, i gave it some special tlc to make sure the glyphs and numbers were aligned. big respect to him on that honestly so here's a global ready one so like i said it has english spanish portuguese russian chinese Oh, so that must be Cantonese and Mandarin as well. Japanese, Korean, based on the silver pixel font. This is a, this is honestly a very beautiful font. Let, let, let's see if I could go to the Twitter page. This is very, very fucking cool. All right, so let's take a look at this. Ooh, that is beautiful. Doing Square Enix's job. <laughs> this is sponsored, right? Yes, this is actually a sponsored stream. Um, like I mentioned, Square Enix sent me these codes, so that is officially considered sponsored. So, very, very happy and proud to announce that. Firish, how are you? Thank you for coming in. Let's take a look at more of this, because this is very cool. So, oh my god. This is impressive. This is really impressive. Because um, I had a, a problem with how the font looks. Well, we're going to, obviously, we're going to look at that when we start playing this. But uh, there is, like, a music player that you can play, which probably one of my favorite music players I've ever seen in a video game, period. Uh, so this one is based on Final Fantasy III. Very nice. Uh, the game does look pretty... So Would that affect that recommendation? No, it's not going to affect the recommendation. If anything, um, you know me. I'm pretty forthright through this. It's actually better than I thought. But coming from the 2013 one, it's not saying much. And we're going to talk, trust me, I, I, along the stream and along the video, you're going to see that. I actually have another point that I do want to talk about a little bit later on stream. Probably like two or three. There's a, there's a lot. So it looks like this font mod actually changes all. Whoa, is this Russian? Oh, yeah, I, I can't read Russian. Japanese, I'm good. Okay, ink. Oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. So traditional Chinese and simple. Oh, I thought it was Cantonese. Wow, see, I haven't studied Chinese. Game that it doesn't include the content from the GB and the PSP. That is very, very true. That's another thing that I'm very glad that you said that. Thank you so much, Turbo. So here's actually the thing if you guys are wondering. If you're wondering, will the Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster, is this going to include all of the content that was from uh, Dawn of Souls on the GBA, which added an extra dungeon, and from the PSP? And the answer is a big fat no. You can't get that. You can't get the Souls of Rebirth. You can't get any of that. It's really, really disappointing that they ax that. I don't know why Square Enix axed that. It's... Probably one of the most unfortunate things about that, considering that a lot of the content that's in here is incredible, and yet they ax that. Michael do Duke he did. I'm sorry, I can't read this names. I'll, I'll call you Michael. How are you, man? Thank you so much for coming in. How are you? Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster. That's what we're going to be talking about today. So what else do I want to talk about? Um... I don't think what else. Um, full beastry, which, which don't try to pronounce that. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you for coming in, though. So let's see what else is in here. Um, I'm I'm I I do like these games. I'm gonna be honest. I do I do like them. They're solid. They're solid. But that's probably as far as I'll go. And I'm not saying that because it's sponsored. 
I'm saying that because in all honesty, it's it's not bad. It, it gets things right. The music is fucking incredible. Oh my god. I, I think that's one of my favorite parts about this. If you guys love Uematsu, if you guys love anything that that guy makes, came back, he redid that. It looks incredible. Final Fantasy GBA was even a port from the Wonder Swan remake. Square Enix was passionate about, about that machine. Yeah, it's like they want to forgive about its legacy. I, I will say, though, I think this is something to keep in mind. Square hasn't been the best with a lot of um, of their ports, especially on PC. I think a lot of people, well, I th probably for a reason, they want to forget the 2013 uh, Final Fantasy VI port, which is abysmally horrible. So if you guys don't know, uh, Square Enix actually ported 4, 5, and 6 on mobile, Android. Uh, it's delisted now. Can't find it anymore. Unless you get on like other sites and stuff like that. Um, the problem was is that the sprites weren't really done. They had like a, a horrible, horrible filter. Um, so it didn't look like they were like catered to what they look like. It, they looked like they had sprites and then it had like one of those emulator filters. It was just absolutely horrendous. And the game looks washed out. Uh, satur it's horribly, horribly saturated. In, in the Oh no, it's desaturated. Yeah. So, uh, Fire said, I think it was okay that they cut the extra content if it was exactly a port from the older games, but I've been told they made it easier. They actually did, which I'm kind of surprised. So, let, let me let me let you guys know what I do for my videos, in case you don't know. Um, usually when I play a lot of these, I play the different versions, so I like directly off of each other. Here I am playing Dawn of Souls on the PS1. I'm playing it on the... Um, Playing on the PSP. I have my PSP in the other room. I was playing that capture the footage. Um, on the PS1, it's significantly harder, but there is difficulty levels that you can switch on that, which is nice. But it does feel a lot easier. I was able to level up so much more on the PC than considering the PS1. Um, it's a lot more forgiving in the PC, so, which I think is fine because they're trying to really modernize this version to make it easily accessible for everyone. I'm okay with that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think what is wrong is when uh, the cut content, which I'm not a fan of, um, the font, which I'm also not a fan of, Square Enix should have done that and fixed that in the first place, yet they didn't, but if, if you really don't like it, you can get a mod. I didn't do that for this stream because I wanted to show you guys exactly what it looked like. And um, I'm trying to think what else I don't like. What PSP game has the best storyline? That is, I don't think I'm gonna go too, too deep because I, I really wanna focus on talking about Pixel Remaster. But uh, I guess you could say Crisis Core. Let's go with Crisis Core. Crisis Core, pretty solid. Even though the story hasn't aged as good as I thought, but definitely going with that. Yeah, Fire says, I don't think there is anything wrong with being easier as more people play. That's actually something I'm a big fan of. I I never liked the gatekeeping of, uh, what is it called? Um, difficulty, the difficulty gatekeeping. Oh, you play it on easy mode. You know, you're like kind of like a new. I never really liked that mentality. That was something that I've always been annoyed at. And I think if there's a game that people are able to access and able to play as a collective, I think that's a wonderful and amazing thing for a lot of people to do. So I'm very, very happy and appreciative of that. And Dreamfall, how are you, man? My boy. Yeah, Square Enix Logic doesn't really make much sense when they decided to make it easier, which is which significantly makes the game faster to complete, and yet they completely axe the extra comp. It's, th that's the thing that you're gonna find this. It's more one step forward, two steps back. Because there, like I said, there are some good things that this remaster genuinely, I've been happy. The music is an absolute strong point. Uh, the extra cut content um, and everything else, it's, we'll, we'll talk about that as I play. So Fire says, I haven't played any of the first six and wanted to know how the original feels and why four is famous because of its difficulty. That's an interesting question. So I'm planning on playing the originals, then the D Pixel remaster, just to see the difference. I think that's a that's a pretty cool idea. That's a that's actually a pretty solid idea. Um, where do I begin? 
I will say the feel doesn't feel too far from from what I've played. I haven't played the original, and I'm talking about like NES Final Fantasy yet. I had a copy, I, I got rid of it. And another copy to do port versus port of that. But it's definitely different. So my first Final Fantasy, and I'm talking about like the originals, was on the PSP. So um That's a spoiler. I'm I'm Alright, I'm putting you in timeout, man. If you're gonna spoil that, fuck no. I'm not I ain't dealing with that shit. I'm really not. I'm sorry. Okay. So let's talk about the PSP versions. Um that's that's what I grew up with, and I and I genuinely love that a lot. It's it's one of my favorite things about um about the PSP versions. Now, my thing is um there are a couple black sheeps that I think we do need to talk about. Final Fantasy II is a huge black sheep. Uh, its level up system is not the friendliest. Long story short, whatever weapon you're using is the one that you're leveling up. So like, let's say you play with sword the entire game, you go to an ax, you're gonna start at level one. Your your strength and power is not gonna, um, is not gonna translate. So that is one thing for sure that I'm not a fan of. Uh, a lot of people don't like to, but I, I do appreciate that. It's, it is different. Definitely, it's it's easier to play, but I still have that whimsical feel that I do. I think the sprites are fine. I'm not really sure if a lot of people are going to like the sprites, which is weird because the same exact artist, um, Kazuko Shibuya, who did um, the sprite work for the original Final Fantasies, did this one, and yet it's not that good. I don't know. I don't, I don't like it. If anything, um, you're going to see shots that I've done that are directly in comparison to like, let's say the PS1 and the PSP, and you can see the difference. Like there is a loss of detail in, in the armor, in color, um, instead of like, let's say, uh, you know what? Maybe I should show you guys. All right. Let's do this. Let me, let me show you. All right. You guys ready? Let me show you. Okay, I'm taking that off. I'm gonna show you display capture. All right. So hello. Now you can see what my <laughs> you can see my workflow. In case you're in case you're wondering, Final Fantasy is also in this as well. Absolutely. Um, Final Fantasy three, which is great because it's the first time that Final Fantasy three has been redone. Uh, I think the only way you can play it is. Uh, the the Famicom and the DS. That's like the only two ways you can play it. Ironic, right? That's a port versus port. I'm definitely doing. All right. So let me show you some of the PS uh, the PS1 footage. In case you guys are curious, so th all of this is captured by me. This is all my footage. In case you're curious, because um, I don't want to like put on that. This, but um. Here we go, in case you want it. I'm gonna skim to, let me see if I could scrub through one of the battles right here. There we go. Takes a little bit to load. Final Fantasy III was supposed to be the one just one, but it's canceled. Now oh, that's funny. I never actually owned a wondrous one. There you go. You can, so here's something that I do wanna highlight. So if you guys are looking at some of the sprites right here, we're talking about PS1 Final Fantasy one. Um, you can see how beautiful the sprite work looks like there is texture in the hair You can see a little bit of a variation. It's not just one simple color. There's like two or three uh, You could also see that for the cloak as well. It's not just a simple white There's some grays and some darker grays to kind of highlight the um, The wrinkling in the clothing. This is all Kazuka Shibuya, right? The same artist that has done that, right? Let's go to the pixel remaster all right, so this is the Pixel Remaster. All right, here's a good, if I can get a good stopping point. All right, here's a good stopping point. Emmanuel Melodius, how are you? Thank you so much for talking about Pixel Remaster today. So here's the thing, you can see, these are the, the newer sprites. You can see how very little variation there is in the hair right here. Um, it's probably one brown color with maybe a little bit of deviation to kind of show some of the flaps. There is no wrinkling in any of the clothing. It's 
and for the monks there there's just um there's just the, what is it called there is just one simple tone for the sprites right here same with the black mage the black mage does not look good that's that's my problem i know a lot of people can talk about this but i'm not a fan of this i'm I, I can actively say I don't like about this. Look, we can even go back to the PSP. I know this is something entirely different. This footage was also captured by me. Okay. I personally like this. This is one of my favorite versions. But I hate how un, uh, unaccessible it is in a, in a lot of us. But um, you can see just how beautiful. I really do love the, the, the sprite work so much in this. That's why I love the PSP version. I do like the, the music in Dawn of Souls too. It would have been nice if you can like switch between them. That's something that I do have. I wouldn't say I have a problem, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people would have appreciated that, that you're able to switch between them. Not something I'm a fan of, but it. who knows? Maybe with updates, they can do that. I'm hoping Square Enix listens because this is their flagship stuff. This is their old flagship stuff. So I'm really hoping that they can do this. So let's go back. I'll do, I'll show you the PSP, the PS1 version one more time so you guys can see more detail. And I think after that, we're gonna like really play Pixel Reading. There we go. So you can see just how beautiful, I really love the sprite work in this spot. I'm not really too big of a fan of how the sprites look like in the, the overworld. Man of one title, how are you, man? Great to see you, dude. This doesn't look that bad. So let's see, aside from the sprites and the cutscenes, does the, does the NES and PS1 have any major difference? Um, I mean, quite, well, visually they're huge. Um, we're going from 8-bit to 16-bit. Uh, we also have CD quality music, which is a very big deal. Um, I have noticed that there is a, the, you can change the settings to play the original Final Fantasy style, where, let, let, let me put it into context. Um, in the original, because this baffled me when I was recording today, when you're fighting an enemy and you kill that, usually you're used to enemies locking on to the next one. If you kill that enemy and the other and your um, your other allies target the same enemy, they miss, and it's very very odd how they've been doing that. It's very very fucking weird. Uh, it's it's funny because it's not. It, it's just those little things that I I think are not as good they they have been able to update this so that's the thing all right so you so no worries man of one title been looking forward to the stream currently playing final fantasy one on the nes classic Ooh, can only be here for, sh for, sh for a short time so what's so special about symphony nightport is that more high graphics than ps1 i'm not going to be talking about that if you want to be if you want to see that check out my other videos because i don't really have time to talk about that today if you want to check that out go for it it's on my channel but I'm not going to be talking about that today. So you need to check that out. No offense. Sorry if I do sound harsh. I don't mean to. But I I want to strictly focus on this today. All right. So let's talk about Pixel Remaster. Let's let's get this going. All right. Let me turn off the music. Cool. All right. Let me load up Final Fantasy right here. Okay, so this should be good. Yeah, yeah, my apologies on that. Okay, there we go. Cool. Everything. Okay. Ooh, ew, volume's fucking low. Okay, there we go. Cool. We are all set. Okay, so I wasn't playing too, too much. I just want to get enough of the... But he... Okay, here's one of the problems. Okay, it seems I'm playing the first four... I'm playing the four versions of Final Fantasy. Fucking... Fucking monster. Oh, it's a good problem thing. So you guys can already see the problem that we have. Well, you know what? Before I actually play the game, let me go into the extras so you guys can see what this is. So... You have a full beastry... Whatever you encounter is what you can seek, just like the other ones. 
There we go. When you go that, you can see some of the sprite work. Some of the sprite work is not bad. I'm okay with it. I'm not the biggest fan, but it's, it's fine. Definitely not as much. What do you think about Final Fantasy IX? Was it good or bad? Um, I haven't played IX as much as I should, so I can't really give an opinion on it, unfortunately. I know I should, but I mean, from what I what I do, I, I like it so far, but it's hard for me to comment. It's been so long. It's been an on and off thing. Just so much to do, so little time. But here are the sprites that you can do. You also have a full music player. I really love this. This is probably one of my favorite things about this. It's fucking adorable. Like, this is a this is absolutely adorable. I love this. If you guys have played like what? Theat Rhythm? It reminds me so much of this. Where you can actually like see that while you're playing that. It's it's a nice little addition. Nothing crazy. Also, I love the song from Matoya's Cave. I love this. Also, let me know if you guys can hear or not. Okay, cool. I'm just raising the volume, making sure that's... Wait, is this the PC version? Yeah, we're playing this on PC. So, if you guys don't know, um, Pixel Remaster has only been released on Steam, unfortunately. I don't know why... Well, it's been on Steam and Android and mobile, so if you want to... Very curious. Can you actually play this one? Alright. The so Theat Rhythm is so darn good. I wish I actually... I don't own Theat Rhythm. That's... But I, I played a little bit of it. I played the arcade version, actually. So yeah, the music is really, really nice. This is probably one of my favorite... This is probably one of my favorite ones. I have actually a huge love for Final Fantasy 1, actually. Uh, since this was, like, my first one of the originals that I played. I'm trying to see if Square Enix actually has released it. Excuse me, you can play Final Fantasy VIII on the go. That is very cool. Um, oh, okay. So, you guys would like to hear this. Wow, these are expensive. Jeez. So, each game costs $17.99. You can get a discount on Steam for $12. Fucking yikes, man. That's expensive. That's fucking expensive, actually. But uh, if you wanted to, you could actually download this. The reason I'm looking on my phone is if you wanted to play this on, like, the Android store, you can do that, which is very, very cool. Hells Rob. Yeah, that's what I was actually thinking, too. That I wouldn't be surprised if they made, like, a physical of this that could happen. But then again, I don't know about that. I'm... I don't know why this game... I don't know why this game cannot be played um on on the switch this is a perfect switch game like this feels like if this was on the switch i would buy it with a heartbeat like no fucking question about it i would buy this within a heartbeat you also have a full uh like all of the art is oh my god some of this art is just incredible like uh this is all the art from yoshitaka mano god i i oh my god just looking at this is incredible I can't really get over just how beautiful this, this guy knows how to make his pieces. Like, I would want, like, if, if I could, I would actually buy, an, like, if I had the money, I would buy, like, a goddamn original. This is actually one of my favorite pieces. I love this piece. It's so fucking goddamn beautiful. Oh. No, 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 no. Um, so here's the thing. All of the music for this is entirely brand new. That's something I think you guys need to know. Um, everything is brand new. Oh, here's a cool thing. Now that you mentioned that, Emmanuel, anyone who does get this on Steam, you do. It does come with like wallpapers and and, and stuff like that. So I think I think that's very very cool. I don't know why my chat's going. My chat's like hanging up. Yeah, sorry about that. I don't know why my chat's like not properly working right now. Thank you. I want to play Ebony the King's Return. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Yeah, some of this gives me Bahamut 
Lagoon. I haven't played Bahamut Lagoon. I would love to play Bahamut Lagoon. That's one game that I'm... Uh, I'm, like, saving that game for, like, a really good time. All right. One thing that I love so much, they actually added a brand new map, which is incredible. You can see everything in this map. This is so fucking legit. Like, I, lo I love this map so much. Also... Oh, just like Resident Evil 2 rank when it comes with the raw paper. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because I, I do know when you get Resident Evil 2 on Steam, it does come with some wallpapers. So this is nice that you're able to get that. It's it's cool. So it's a nice little bonus if you be care for that. I forgot exactly what I was supposed to do. But no, this is what the menu does. You have brand new menus. I, I do like the menu. I just don't like the font at all. You have a brand new quick save. Uh, you have just a regular save function on the on the overworld. Quick save. That's it. That's it. I'm telling you, this game is perfect for the Switch. I don't know why they didn't put this on, on the Switch. Just, just join. How are you, Molden? Yeah, the the class text is tiny. It's fucking abysmal. Also, if you care for this, how about this? I'm gonna hurt your goddamn eyes. You ready? Look at how horrible this CRT filter is. They added a CRT filter, and I. Fucking hate it. Lord, my my eyes are just Ugh. I hate this. Where might we where might we play the um No, there is no way to play this on Switch. That's the thing. There's Are you kidding me? He killed my black mage? I'm actually annoyed. If you fucking killed my black mage, oh my god. Are these guys just over level? Hold up. Hold up, like this bitch ass being being a bitch. Hold up. Okay. I'm slightly annoyed. Also, the uh they have like a little quick time so you can like keep attacking when you need to. I do appreciate that. Yes, all of the there are a ton of Final Fantasies on the Switch actually. Um, I'm gonna turn this filter off. I fuck it. I really can't right now. I really can't right now. Greenix, do not do this. Oh, you can do continuous auto battle. First your memory, I I don't ever do that. Um, there are no graphical changes, so if you want anything graphical wise, you're not gonna get that. You can't get that. Squaresoft uh, left a lot of their games in Japan. Bahamut Lagoon, Live Alive. I do want to play that. Saga. Yeah, they're... Oh, Treasure of Rundus. I do want to play that one, actually. None, 9 is on Switch. If you guys are wondering, 9 is on Switch. Uh, anything after 7, or well, anything 7 and up, is up there. Very cool. Okay. You could also do Auto Battle, which I, I do love. Yeah, I don't know why this is not released on Switch. This is like a perfect thing on Switch, and yet we're not getting it. I don't know fucking why. I wish Square Enix released this on this. It's perfect for it. Um, but... That was my Black Mage. Oh, this is cool. So you can pull up the... This is one thing that I really like. So, if you pull up the map, you can see what's in each territory of where you're at. Including chests and items. And specific things you've never gotten. This is so goddamn cool. Oh, white mage, black mage is a squishy bitch. Oh my god, what is he? Level three. Oh, I don't even have phoenix downs. I'm going back to town. Fucking sucks. Fucking sucks, man. I hate, oh god, imagine doing an entire team of black mage. Auto battle. This is where the auto battle comes in. Where you're just like, I don't want to fucking deal with it. But no, I, I, as a collection, I think 30 bucks is definitely solid if it was everything. Step, okay, I'm, I'm going to be honest. This game is stupid expensive. I, I'll, I'm not liking the price. Phoenix is asking kind of top premium for something that has quite a lot of flaws in it. Oh, he fucking left. Okay, bye. That, that's my problem with this. This is... Yeah, it has fast forward, actually. So right here in the corner, you can see, like, the light, uh, the, the fast blinking. 
It's very cool that it has fast forwarding. This is also very cool that you can see what's been specifically leveled up. I very much appreciate that. There are some good quality of life uh, features. No, auto battles only on the PC version. That's a new feature that Square Enix has eventually added, which I'm a fan of. I'm definitely a fan of this. But why they didn't do this before, I don't, I don't know. Also, MP is the original style. So you only have like one or two MPs, if that makes sense. It's, it's odd. It's definitely an odd beast. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. I have to fight the pirates here. Um, all right. So I have to get some items, revive my boys. They're fucking dead. So I have to fight these guys. But yeah, for auto battle, it's not on PSP. Yeah, he's completely right. It's only on this version. I'll admit auto battle is a game changer because you don't want to be sitting there throughout the entire game throwing your thumbs hoping that you'll go for it yeah it, it's it's an are you serious <sighs> i'm actually annoyed i'm actually annoyed phoenix why are phoenix down so horribly expensive I'm a broke bitch, man. Yeah, I forgot how... Wait, does Final Fantasy 1 have a GB? Yeah, it absolutely does. Uh, that one's called Dawn of Souls. It's it's pretty decently solid. Um, other than music compression, it has everything that you would expect it. Ironically, it has more features than this. I'm not, I'm not like, fucking with you. It actually has more features than this. I don't know why. <laughs> why did they strip the extra content? Ugh. Okay, what's up, D-Lo? How are you, man? Yeah, there are about four or five versions of this. That's why I'm not doing a full-blown port versus port. That's going to be something I want to do individually. I would love to do an individual port versus port, but that's... Ugh, it, it's it's going to be a lot. I think I'm going to make Final... I think I'm going to do Final Fantasy. That's the easy. The other ones are just expensive, man. I don't think I have the equipment to do it. I would love to do it, but... Yo, this shit be expensive, yo. I'm doing good. I'm doing good, D-Lo. Ooh, slow. Actually, no. So, PSP version rules because it's got the cool... I actually like the PSP version. I'm pretty biased on that. PSP version is definitely... my favorite one. I do love the PSP version. That was my first one. And still going back to that, it's still one of my favorite ones. Blinda, Silence, Null, Sh Null Shock is not bad. But there's no... Is that under Origins? Yeah, it is under Origins. Yeah, yeah, so Dawn of Souls with GBA and then Origins was... I, wow, I said that completely wrong. Whoopsie! The video will be out tomorrow, so if you guys want to know more information, I'm going to be talking about that tomorrow. Ooh, Iron Art. Ooh. Okay. Very cool. Leather Shield, one. Also, this what's this is what I love so much. There's an equip feature that you can do doing this. I'm. You'd be surprised how little of a quality of life feature there is on this. And how huge this is. I love this so much. It's the, the little things, the little quality of life features are really good in this game. That's for sure. I think the only things I don't like, uh, the font, I hate the font. It's abysmal. Horrible font. Um, the sprites, I'm not too big of a fan. The music is incredible. Um, it's, it's, it's solid. It, like, it's genuinely solid. I'll give it that. The extra content is... F I hate that there's no extra content. Also, I hate that I have to... Ugh, hate that I only have two characters. So, Firestep says that my plan was to play all FF before dying. With all of these versions, may I, maybe I have to be fat. I would definitely recommend getting these if you just want to blaze through it. My problem, like I said, price is not a forgiving thing. 17 bucks, or at least at the moment, 12 because it's on light discount. It's a lot to ask for. 
I'll, I'll be genuinely honest. It's a lot to ask for. So, Steam sale is not a bad idea. Eshop, hopefully. I'm hoping this comes to Switch, man. Oh, Schmider. Oh, S oh Scimitar. Wow, not... Ooh. Battleax. Hello. Hello, Battleax. How are you? 17 for, for Final Fantasy 1? Yeah, actually... Hold up. Let, let me make sure. Yeah. Oh, the, the PSP cup. Yeah. I think I'm borrowing one from a friend. I would like a copy, personally. I would probably, but then again, I'm not too much of a physical PSP guy for some reason. Let's see. I'm gonna look, I'm looking at Steam right now. I want to make sure I know exactly how, how much this is. Final Fantasy Pixel. Uh, okay. I'm looking at Final Fantasy 3. Um... Seventeen ninety nine retail right now. It's fourteen thirty nine. Yikes! Okay. If you want to pick up the original Final Fantasy one, oh okay, it's actually eleven ninety. Okay, yeah, these prices are weird. Okay, Final Fantasy one is eleven ninety nine, discounted to nine fifty nine. You want to play Final Fantasy two? Is weird. Okay, same price. Nine uh eleven ninety nine discounted to nine fifty two. Final Fantasy three is seventeen ninety nine discounted to fourteen thirty nine. So that's what you can get at the moment. Yeah, it's it it depends on what you can do. So that that that's how that's that's gonna that's that's how that's going to be working. It, it's it's odd. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. Very fucking odd. But Square Enix is pricing them very, very weirdly. So 1 and 2 are, are the same price. 3 is definitely up there. Charging a little more premium than they kind of should. See yeah, how that goes. The font in, in 9 is just copying using the Roman alphabet files, including the Japanese font. I really want to know the reasons behind the decision they, they did, uh, to change the font at all. I'm not really sure why. Maybe for stylistic choices. Also, there's a shit ton of screen tearing. I don't know why. There's a ton of screen tearing. This game should be running at 60 FPS, and there is screen tearing. I think someone mentioned that this was running on Unity, so it makes sense that there would be screen tearing, but lord, I'm running on a 75 hertz monitor. I just got a, a 3060, like a GTX 3060. And here you go. If you're wondering, wondering why this game runs like ass, it's because... It, ugh. Why didn't Square Enix do that? Okay, so I know you gotta fight these pirates. No, that's another thing I do have a problem. Oh, fucking load. Okay. Ugh. Oh, he meant nine. He meant nine, not nine. What? Okay, never mind. Yeah, the water and the battle transitions are nice. Yeah, they're actually pretty nice. Oh, I'll give it that. Some of the things that this game does right, it actually does a nice job. Like, I'm I'm happy with it. I'm not gonna deny that. I always like to give credit where credit is due. It's solid. Oh. Um... If it, you know what's nice? There you go. Fast forwarding. As in the text mod, not the FF number. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you guys want to know, I'll drop a link tomorrow on the video. You know what's nice? That I could just do that. Wait, why is your screen turning on a game that looks like it could run on a laptop? I don't fucking know. Like, that's the age-old question. Why is your screen tearing on a game that shouldn't have screen tearing? If you guys can answer that question... Please let me know. I don't know why. The one thing that they shouldn't be able to do, they do. I don't know why. I, I wish I could do. Let's see. Ineffective devs. It, it could be. I always feel... 
I think a lot of people don't know. It's you. A lot of people have to answer to higher ups in Square Enix. Oh, thank God, I can revive one person. If my black mage dies, I will be filthy fucking angry. The revival system in this game is horrible. Who did this port? That's a good question. I don't know who did this port. For all we know, it could have been outsourced. I really don't know. Can you switch your monitor to 60 hertz without- I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. I'm absolutely not doing that. I'm not risking porking. You're, you're just gonna have to deal with it, unfortunately. I'm not doing it. I'm not switching. All right, let's Phoenix down my Black Mage, if he can be a competent for once. Please be competent. How much money I have? 77. Have I played Sweet Home on the NES? No, I don't. I actually do want a copy. I don't own one. I... I think I was in Japan one time. Um, I was trying to find a, a copy of Sweet Home. I think I did, but they were charging like probably like 8,000 yen, like 80 bucks over there. I'm like, I, I, I love this game, but shit. Will they be on Credit Kid? I don't know, man. It's, it's very, ooh. Oh, bitch. Oh, no. Uh, fixed 50. Best guess, uh, best guess as to deterring fixed 60 FPS on a 75 without V-Sync. Yeah, there probably isn't V-Sync. That, that's, that's gonna be the thing. I'm pretty sure there isn't V-Sync, which sucks. It'd be really nice if there was, like, V-Sync. There is not. Actually, you know what? Oh, shit. These guys are bitching. Actually, no. I'm gonna stick my guns. Oh yeah, these are, these are the big boys. Okay. There we go. Does this version come with no encounter cheat or something like that? No. No, 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 definitely not. Um, I mean... Fuck that. I swear to God. I'm, I'm fucking pissed. Killed... I fucking can't believe it. I just revived my black mage. I'm not dealing with that shit. I'm not dealing with that. Holy God, you just re I'm beyond angry. You know what? I'm gonna load up this one because everyone is alive. That's disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting. I'm sorry if I got so peeved, but like, I don't- I don't like my boys dead, okay? I love my boys. I'm sorry, I- I'm just like, what? I'm fucking dead with that. But no, um, sorry about that. This game gets grindy, though. This is definitely one of Final Fantasy's more grindy games. The story is very, like, the story- there's- the story's very, very minimal. So the reason that you play Final Fantasy 1 is entirely for gameplay. It's as basic as basic comes, but it's kind of why it's one of my favorites. Because it's very simple. Also, no, there is no V-Sync. If you're curious on what graphical elements there are... Let's see. Look at graphics. There are two graphics display. There's standard, and there's a CRT classic. There you go. There's your... There's your no, I, like, I'm serious. There's... Why they did that, I don't know. And also... Did I mention that you can only... You have to hold to press dash? The other versions, you can just dash and you'd be good. Like, you can... It has a hold dash option, and you can't do that here. It's, it's annoying. It's... My problem is this game is, like, one step forward, one step back kind of thing. And yet... I don't know, that's that's just my inherent problem. Like, there are things that could be fixed with here, and they're not doing it. The map town is, oh. That's, that's such a beautiful thing. I never realized how helpful it is. I think it lets you know where some chests are.
Team Panicking. Can I really not do anything? Yeah, I can't do anything. I'm, I tried. Let me see if I can find it one more time. Gamepad. Uh, there's confirm. There's button remapping. I mean... I guess. I mean, this game really doesn't need button remapping. Very basic, so... I wouldn't say, necessarily say this game needs it, but... Hey, it's there. No, it, it's... it's What this game does, it does right. What's cool is that um, I have an ultra-wide monitor right here. So this game actually takes advantage of full ultra-wide. It's so fucking cool. I genuinely love that. I never thought I would like a game taking full advantage of ultra If you kill my black mage, I swear to god, I will fucking freak. There we go. Ooh. I forgot how good some of the effects look. Some of the fire effects look really nice. Like, really, really nice. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna heal. Please let him live. I want him to live. I will cry if he's not living. There we go. Ooh, yeah, those effects... See... I, I will admit, I noticed they definitely use a 3D styled, like, effect on it. It's really, really nice. Okay. I think I could go full... What is it called? Um... Just keep on going. No, I'm telling you, what this game does, it does right. And, I, and, I, and I'm very pleased with that. I think in like 10 minutes, I'll take a tiny piss break. Thank you. He leveled up. He needs... Oh my god, he need Look at that bump up from 27 to 52. Holy lord. I think he died during the Garland fight, so he got under level. Yeah, they're sponges. Okay, thank you for a free ship. But no. It's It's a decent game. Like like I'm I'm happy with it. I'm 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 happy with it. I think if I was to purchase it for 12 bucks on Steam, I'd be okay with it. I, I'd be content. Maybe... God. Wait, did I switch the buttons? Oh, I think I switched the buttons by accident. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I switched the buttons by accident. Sorry about that. Hold up. Ugh. I switched the buttons by accident. I hate this. There we go. There we go. That's why it fucked with me. There we go. Okay. Alright. How much money do I have? Five. Okay. I have quite a lot, actually. Okay. Let's do some leveling up. Let's get some new armor. In it. No, I, I think you guys will be happy. I, I'm I'm not gonna. I don't think it's a repeat of 2013, where for some reason Square Enix was like, "Hey, let's actually screw up what we have here." I don't know why they did that. Don't don't. So weird. But no, it, I think I think you guys will be pl uh, pleasantly happy. Yeah, you have quite a lot. I think you can buy like one Phoenix down. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I could only get one Phoenix down. I hate that, man. No. I don't know why, uh, they... I think this is definitely one of the more grueling... Not the grueling introductions, but it's definitely... A difficult game in that regard. Like, it's it's a hard start. It's definitely a tough start. No difficulty settings, so... Um, you get what you pay for, kind of thing. Uh, for better or worse. So, that, that, that depends on you. Hate it when a lot of people are. Alright. Let's see. It's not called NES Hard for. Oh my god. The NES. You know, I'm. I'm gonna say this. I ain't too bad. I ain't too big of a fan of, like, NES Hard games. I know it sounds weird, but. I'm not a. F that's, that's actually something. I'm not a big fan of some of the NES titles. I know a lot of people won't like to hear that. 
But it's kind of true. I There's a lot of the NES that I don't like, actually. And it's I'm just like, nah, I, I, I can't deal with this one. I want it to be better, and it's not. What can you guys do for me? Oh, I should sell some stuff. Okay. Yeah, everything is really nicely displayed and it's easy to see. I'm definitely going to be putting, um... Hmm. Actually... Yeah, it'd be cool if you can mix up the soundtrack in these. Like, have the ball castle theme from 5 while going through Corneria. You know, okay. I think you bring up a good point. I'm very glad you said that. So, one thing that I did have a problem with is that I think people who like the original soundtracks can't switch between them. I know what you're saying, though. What if you can put, like, Final Fantasy V music with here? And that would kind of be dope. That would be tough, though, maybe. Or that would be a lot, but I know they can do it. But I will say, one thing I do really want, at least, is interchangeable soundtracks. So, like, you can put the NES music if you really wanted to, or you can put the... What is it called? Not the NES music. You could put, like, Dawn of Souls, the GBA version. If you can interchange those... I think that would be a pretty good sell. But I'm just really disappointed that Square Enix didn't do something like that. I feel like you're getting... I wouldn't say the bare minimum, because Square Enix did not do the bare minimum. I think they did a solid job on this, but there are things that could be better. Like, I, I think... The above and beyond would be nice, but they didn't do the above and beyond. It's just like... They met the bare minimum for sure. Like, this game does meet the bare minimum. There's some other things that the game needs. This game does need some updates. Tells Rob says, There's a lot of early d development design jank in the, the NES library. Not kidding. Devs didn't know better or were limited by tech. That's that's basically it. I thought the version uh, would have something like Final Fantasy X and X2. Like the, yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that. I just mentioned that in the video. If they can do that, like interchangeability... That would be great. I would l absolutely, like, kill for that. I think, like, I would be like, okay, that's a feature that feels like purchase. I think it's just one of those... It just does. It definitely succeeds in the bare minimum. And I think that's about it. Nothing wrong with that. But I think we all expected more. And that's something we don't have. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I forgot. They, they can do some damage here. Oh, yeah. Let's see. What? I don't... I'm not a fan of the way the magic is used here, actually. This game is very grindy, though. I think the thing is, is that you only have, there's not like magic MP, there's magic, quite literally like individual magic points. Like in, in the first tier, there's only like one or two, like four times you can use magic in this line, if that makes sense. And it kind of does suck that that's the case. I get it, but. It, it, it's weird if that if that makes sense. It's it's definitely taken back from the older Final Fantasy. Yay, everyone leveled up. And I have a lot of gil. I think I might do a little eager, a little grindy. Do right. you think Square will make some updates for the game like they did with Chrono Trigger? Or will they abandon like the old versions of 4 and 5? Okay. That's a great question too. So, Chrono Trigger, I think it's for sure abandoned. But they for sure abandoned 5 and 6. You can't find it on Steam. Like, it's completely delisted from Steam. If you try to find anything like that, it's not going to be in there. Crazy to think, right? But it's, it's not on Steam. If you try to find it, you, you won't. Big shame, my friend. But it's true. You're not going to find it on Esteemo. Oh my god. See, he's useless after like 3 tries. That sucks. There we go. Chrono Trigger had at least four updates made. Did it really have that much updates? I haven't played Chrono Trigger on PC. Is it really that bad? Holy fuck, man. 
Yeah, th those are for sure delisted. That It sucks, though. Like, this is a point that I made in the video, too. Why did Square Enix release these versions when there are people who actually purchased this game previously? You know? So it's like, I'm not saying they're entitled to it, but it is... It's like, why didn't you guys do this right in the first time? I'm always the kind of guy who, like, if you're going to do a good job, just make sure to do it right in the first but if you don't do a good job and then you kind of like half-ass it, like, what's the point of that? And that's pretty much what Square Enix did with the original Final Fantasy. Like, the original ones that were released. And I don't know why they didn't do that. It's it's just one of those things that it just irks me. They could have done more, but they didn't. That's at least back then. Now it's a, now it's a little better. This is definitely like something I'm enjoying a lot, a lot more. Oh, thank God he leveled up. You. He, he needs it. So let's see. I'm definitely going to heal. Honestly, I do wish they made these games for the modern day. They should do like Dragon Quest 3. Oh yeah, that's right. I haven't checked out the Dragon Quest 3 ring, but I heard it's good. VT was a direct port for mobile. Oh, like emulated or... Yeah, that's... Okay. So here's the thing. It's no... It's no joke that Square Enix has been known to make some pretty bad jobs when it comes to porting and PC ports. Square Enix is not good with PC ports. That much is for sure. And that's a shame. Because they can do good work if they wanted to. But I always felt like they do the, the bare minimum or less when it comes to PC ports. This is one of those that it do, it's definitely surpasses the bare minimum and it does a good job. That's about it. I'm genuinely happy with this. Maybe a couple things that could have been mobile first, everything second. Yeah, I think it's... They definitely said that they're one of those companies that they are mobile first. Except if it's AAA. And business-wise, I get it. People want to make sure they, they get their money mobile-wise. Because there is big money. No, no, no surprise there. I get that. That's, that's fine. But it's like, if you're going to put effort into this, make sure that it's done right, not half-assed. Oh, I can't, how, okay, so I haven't played FF8. How is that? How bad is FF8? I'm extremely curious on that. I don't know if it's good or not. I'm mildly. Okay, so M away this magic like the magic just looks ugly oh four three three oh he can do level yeah i wish they just put effort in all pot that's that's my thing um i'm telling you square enix ports are not good like pc ports are not good uh near automata has a ton of problems um uh, this has some problems we know the pc ports of the original final fantasy pretty fucking abysmal that's that's what i'm saying like they do the bare minimum. That's not bad, but like the backgrounds were really uh, bass resolution, uh, were ass resolution, and the character models didn't matter. See, that's the thing I don't like. When you take like these really high quality models and then you, just these horribly done backgrounds, and they just don't mesh well. Like it takes you out of the experience. I don't like games that take you out of the. Ex I consider that a bad game. When it takes you out of the experience. It's a problem I have. The font does take me out of the experience, but I know you can change that. You know what? Let's do this, guys. I think I'm gonna enjoy this. Would you guys be interested in if I put the new pixelated font? I'm like very tempted to do that. But I think this is what I'm gonna be doing. I wanna take a quick bathroom break. Cause I, I, I need to take a fat piss. Really fat piss. But I think I wanna I wanna see how this game looks like with the, with the new font mod. I'm extremely curious now. Cool. There we go. Alright. Yeah, let, let's do that. Alright, at least now it has decent music. The older FF8 had PC crap. Oh, that PC like horrible MIDI. Ugh. Really bad. Cool. Alright, if that's the case, guys, let me use the bathroom a little bit. Uh, quick piss, quick shit. I take really nice, like...
really quickly. It's that fiber. Oh, yeah. Actually, I had good fiber. Give me a bit. I'm going to make sure I do it. Give me like five. I'll be back. Guarantee you, in five minutes, I'll take a fat one. What did I tell you? Like, literally, what did I tell you? Very nice poo boo. I feel like a new man. Hello. Alright. So, this is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm very, 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 very curious how this uh, font mod is gonna be. So, I have the link open. I'm gonna see if I could actually download this. Okay, it's on archive.com. I have an easy, ooh, it's been downloaded. Oh, did I download this that quickly? I'm pretty sure this is, okay, so let me see. So it looks like they gave me two files. Let me show you guys actually. I'm gonna actually do, I'm gonna go over here. Due to oversharing. Hell yeah. This is... <laughs> I'm an oversharer. On the important stuff. Alright, so they gave me two things right here. Two fonts. So it looks like Japanese and English one. I mean, actually, Japanese one ain't that bad. I'm down for that. Um, Drive. I have a lot of things sorted out. Okay. Uh, there should be data. Let me see. Where do you put this? Is there, like, font bundle? How does this work? Yeah, the instructions I saw earlier was just copy and rename the files on, on your machine. Copy and re... If you have the instructions, um, could you link them if that's okay? That'd actually be cool. Let me see. Let me see if I can find the instructions, because I'm pretty sure we can get this running. Okay. Please retweet. 
Yeah, so this was just a direct link. Okay. Oh, okay, there's a silver one. Oh, okay, so this is actually very, very cool. So he has a lot of these. Yeah, so I'm trying to see how well I could put that. There should be a dot bundle. Let's see, steaming assets. Ah, perfect, perfect. I found it, I found it. Cool. Oh, okay. So what this was, you go into, you put this in steaming, uh, in steam assets. You do that and that's it. Wow. Okay. That was very, very fast. All right. So l l let's, let's see how we can do this. Okay. I'm kind of, kind of excited. I'm really excited. All right. Oh, it started. Look at this. The font looks okay. I'm actually okay. So this is what we should have gotten if they just replace one font file. I'm telling you, the fans always complete the game by company. Hold up. This looks so good. Oh, look at this. This looks so nice, dude. This is so legit. I'm excited for a font mod that should have been included in here. What does that tell me about me? This looks so good. Oh, I'm in love with this. Yeah, this is great. Nothing crazy. Everything looks it's the right size. This is great. They did a great job. Oh my god. Yeah, you guys, okay, you guys can see this, dude. This is fucking it. Isn't that amazing how a little change like that can really just go a long way? That's, okay, there's a push. That's how I feel, like, that little change just goes such a long way. Look, oh my god. This is, this is great. Like, I have no complaints. Wow. Wow. This, I'm, I'm very happy. <laughs> I don't know what you guys think, but I'm very, very, very content. This is this is wonderful. Absolutely, absolutely. Great, great job. Wow. Like it it actually feels cohesive. That's what I needed. Like that cohesiveness is what brings me in here. Yeah, I'm I'm very happy with it. Now let's see how it looks like in battle. Are you guys ready for that? Let's see. That's the Chaos Shrine. Frenaria. Frenelia. Okay, I think with the ship I could explore like this inner peninsula. Alright, let's let's do a quick savey. I'm so excited for this. This is so awesome. I think I'm gonna give another 30 minutes to stream, and then I'm gonna go back because I wanna finish this video. Cause I'm almost done. I need to polish it up for sure. Yeah, but look at the fun. It looks great. Everything's very consistent. Like, I have no complaints. This is, this is awesome. This is what we should have gotten. Like, without a doubt. I'm always up for consistency. I'm, I'm fucking happy. I'm very, very fucking happy. Also, I'm just gonna put auto battle. I'm telling you, auto battle is... Auto battle is a blessing. Ooh, nice. All right, let's see. Oh my God. I'm not looking forward to this one. Okay, Thunder. I only have it four tries, are you kidding me? Ugh, he's gonna suck. He's gonna suck, okay. Um, I'll do the shark. Wait. Oh, that was easy. No, I'm 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 a content man. Like I'm I'm extremely content. This is this is what we should have gotten. I I cannot be any happy. Okay. All right, I'm gonna heal Uber. Also, they give you like 
names that you can just name them and i'm very happy because i don't really feel like going back and like naming each one i don't have the patience for that i just want to play and this game's fucking fun oh my god i'm so fucking excited this is great like this the consistency's here this is what i wanted i'm actually a lot like my opinion on this just went way up because of this like i i shit you not it, it feels so much better because of that. I'm, t I'm telling you, the fans fix mods that people shouldn't. There we go. Cool. Thank you for that. Okay, cool. I think I'm going to do one more thunder on this guy. No, I think you guys will be happy. So this video should be released tomorrow. Like I said, I'm polishing things up, making sure everything's nice and consistent. The base font really did suck. It's very, it's bad. I'm sorry. It's it's not that it's a bad font. The font is fine, like technically. The What the problem is, is that this game is advertising it to be in a pixelated format. And yet the, the font is a very modernized form. So that consistency just doesn't make sense. That's the that's inherently the problem I have. So you, it's it's like you guys didn't get it. That's not how that works. And I put an example, a good example, I think in the video in the video that's coming up to see in another game what would happen if I put on a modernized phone. And it it just makes sense. I don't want that. I don't think anyone will. Want. All right. Save the game. We're good. Ooh. Hello. We have a new kingdom here. Okay, wolf. Warg wolf. I don't know which one's worse. Warg wolf. It looks... The color is... Bigger. Or... Deeper. So that means it must be... Okay. Oh, so these are easy. Ooh, the wargs are... Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, Hubert is definitely going to need a heal, so I'll definitely heal my boy. That's kind of crazy, though. So, healing is much more difficult than I thought in this game. Not like sleeping does anything. No, you have to, like... You have to, like, get Phoenix Downs. They're expensive in this game. Jeez, can they not be any more expensive? There we go. Cool. There we go. I heard that the font helps dyslexic people. Oh, really? That is interesting. I didn't know that. But that... Okay, you know what? But at least they could have put more font options. That's the thing. that That's actually surprisingly conscious. Of oh, Elfheim. Oh my god, I'm getting Berserk vibes. Because there's a place in Berserk called Elfheim. Uh, sad, sad situation. Yeah, more options. Always a good thing. That That's what I think. Companies can make things more accessible for people, but you I think what people will just want is consistency. If you give them that consistency, people will be really happy. That's that's what people want. Just give them that. And I think everyone will be so much more content. If Square Enix can do that, I think that's a good thing. Other companies should follow suit. Um just like like you said, there are people who are just like can't read that. Or maybe even other accessibility. Ooh. Okay, I'm getting a dagger for... I'm getting a dagger for my black mage. He needs one. Look at him. My poor boy. He needs... He needs... Shanky. He has no Shanky. Cross Sire. Ooh, but it has more accuracy. So... Let me see. Before I get more stuff, before I even, like, run all of my... 
I'm very surprised that you're able to go through this game very quickly. Like, I'm already in Eiffelheim. Or Elfheim. Ooh. Leather cap. We need that for someone. Okay. That's good. Oh, we actually do need this one for another person. Okay. So... Oh, I think we also have items that we can sell, too. So that's that's something I like. Yeah, honestly, I'm always down for, like, people having more accessibility features. There's nothing wrong. I think it's wonderful. I'm always for it. Yeah, she does nothing. I mean, something better than... Wait. Do I not have it? I gave you one. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna sell shit that I don't have. Other cap. Wait. Who has... Oh, you, you don't fucking need it. Don't need that. Alright, Tells Rob says, I wouldn't mind a 774-ish sort of mana -ish scooped up version uh, update to these original six, even if it in game mechanics. Keep a pixelated or low art cell, no need to full VO, it just what's aged poorly, especially in two. So so what do you mean by that? I'm actually a little curious. Like you won't Yeah, because seven is seven remake is such a different experience from even from the original one, you know? I don't know, huh? I'm I'm definitely curious what you're thinking. Can't say I'm not. Oh, weapons and armor are made of mithril, are sturdy and powerful. You should give them a. Tr Wait, they have mithril. Oh shit! There's more. Oh boy, there's more magic up here. Oh lord. Haste! Oh my god! There's a haste in here. Ooh, that's a lot of money a lot of money that's a lot of money i don't have okay i think poison fear no vox your silence there's a lot of good items here holy shit man like no no fucking joke there's a lot of great the, the gravestone here lies link okay cool that's in here they actually put that in here. All right, good. I was wondering if they actually did this. I'm very glad they did. Thank you, Square Enix. It's it, it's still in here and it's still funny. Okay, revisiting the games and doing more than just a coat of paint. They've been around so long and I've played them so many times I wouldn't mind a new take. Oh, that's what you mean, like a new like like a refreshment on an old franchise. I'm th I'm thinking I'm thinking my answer about that, like how I would think that. I think remake is a special case because people have been asking for it for years, and Square Enix has been looking. At it. The other ones are a lot more difficult because they either might not be the most popular ones, or they might not be the most accessible. Accessible. So it it depends. I think like this is more than enough. Same same story, new vector. Yeah 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 yeah, definitely. That, I mean, that makes sense. I def, I, it makes sense. It would be nice if there was still more. But, yeah, I'm not sure the money is there. Yeah, the money is, that's what I'm saying. You gotta remember, their business is at the end of the day. If the money ain't there, it ain't square. The princess slept under Astus's curse for five years. Wow. Perpetually. Ooh. Oh, so there's my my shimp. Ooh, okay. Let's see how well we've done. I do want to get more equipment, so I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm, I'm definitely gonna. Ooh, Thundara, so you can get two Thundaras. Fire, Thunder, Focus. 
Oh, okay. And then there's a full level two that I haven't gotten. Okay. I mean, these are old enough that the re-release is like doing a new production of stage play. Oh, that's a good way of saying it. Yeah, I think they can do it. But like, like I'm saying, I don't know if the money is there. I think it it's just much easier to be safer in this category. That's why I think it's okay for them to do that. This one, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not sure if like a full-blown remake like that would be something that they would be down for. That's that's why I'm like hesitant because I'm like, would they, would that be successful for them? I don't know. That's why I'm like hesitant on it. Oh, so this is why you have to go back and keep that. Okay. Okay, this is a kind of exciting though. I, th I think I, get, I think I can. I think I can do. Yeah, it's interesting though. Re-releases are a very interesting thing. I'm definitely... I wouldn't say not opposed to them. But I definitely want to make sure they're done right. Hey, don't waste your fire. It's just all willy-nilly. Because you can doesn't mean you should, Black Mage. Why'd you... AI is a little dumb. I'll be honest. The AI is pretty fucking dumb. Okay, yeah, AI is pretty fucking dumb. I'm telling you, if the font looks like this, it looks great. I genuinely have no complaints. I wish I could find a complaint. I don't think you guys want that. I don't think... No, no. I'm, credit where credit is due. Bitch. All right, I think I'll give myself 10 minutes. I think I'll give myself 10 minutes before we get off. Yeah, I, I, I do want to finish this video and I still have a lot of work to do. I'm gonna think, what do I want in my options? I'm just, okay, so one thing I do like, you pull up the map function, go to different areas, like you go to the elven castle and you can find like chests and items in there. Like, it, it's a smart way to, to let people know, like, you can get everything you want to hear. Like, that for me is, that is so fucking cool. I, I really like that a lot. Like, if you explore, you might find something. Like, what's in there? I must know what's in there. So, that that's what I'm saying. It's, this is genuinely awesome. Let me see if I can do this. Yeah, I get the feel that it's literally the iteration of the litmus test. They put a lot more money into the DQ remake because they're confident it will sell in a market they know at home. Yeah, that's why. I mean, Dragon Quest is a, is a huge seller in Japan. Makes sense why it, it would sell so well over there. Yeah, if these do well, I wonder if they look more into that too. It's it's very possible. We could... Oh, great. It's been secure. has been secured with the Mystic Key. Thank you. Thank you, Bimbo. Yeah, I, I could definitely see that. I can definitely see them being like, hey, you know. Also, I think going out in high C actually. Cobra. I'm telling you, little black mage with Shanky. He's, he's a big boy. It is interesting though, considering that Square Enix does advertise like let's say things to be on the Switch and stuff like that. They could definitely do that, and yet they don't. It's uh, I could really see them like really going more gung ho in that. I I really want them to. I would really want that. Oh shit! We got a new spawn. Thank you so much, Kid Groove. How are you, man? Also, I need to change that. I don't know why that YouTube alert is so. I guess I never did that one. Thank you so much, though. How are you, man? Okay. Ooh, Wargy. Okay, let me see. How's Thunder? Ooh, he can do more Thundara? Okay. I, I see you. I see you, boy. I see you can do that. All right. 
Yeah, they're trying to figure out um, if the forgotten success of Octopath. Yakuza it is a flash. Wait, what do you mean Yakuza like a dragon Persona 4 go for Golden PC? Because those are different companies now. I think that's what I'm not sure what you mean. So you mean that like it's cool that they're I'm I'm confused now. You definitely, definitely confuse me. Okay, let's see. How much money I have. Ooh, I have quite a lot. Oh, thank you so much for becoming a new Kelpie soldier. I appreciate that, man. Okay, why does it keep telling me to do that? God damn it. Th but thank you so much, man. So just to let you guys know, if you are a subscriber on the channel or you do the joint subscription, you get access to emotes that have been done by my girlfriend, Beamslinger. She is a fantastic artist and studying animation, and she did these... Uh, he did that. So you guys can use those emotes on all of my videos. I very much appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Actually, now that you put that, I could definitely put you in the in the video. Because um, I think since you join, I'm able to put that... Uh, what is it called? So, like, people join subscription, if that if that makes sense. Oh, old, old school turn-based RPGs. Oh, you mean, like, if turn-based RPGs is... Oh, okay. That's what you mean. Yeah, turn-based RPGs, they're, they're still... They're still pretty popular. I'd say they're they are definitely pretty popular. Um, you, you can still see them around from time to time. So it's not like they're the way of the Dodo. I, I wouldn't say they're like... I definitely do... Being, like, staying... Saber. Wow, Saber's fucking... Ex Oh, he needs okay yeah i think i might do a little more grinding yeah i forgot how grind this game is very grind that's for sure this is a very 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 grind i'm okay with that though i mean this is as classic as it goes you you literally play this for the game turn-based rpgs are still a thing maybe not more than the main thing but something yeah they're they're definitely still much a thing i still see them pretty commonly and I mean, if you guys are curious if they are, check out the Persona series. I mean, the Persona series is like the, right now, like the king of turn base, and they do a great job. I love the Persona. If you haven't played Yakuza Like a Dragon, I can't recommend. I would love to play the game, actually. I haven't gotten around to it yet. I'm. I mean, I did upgrade my graphics card. Like, I have a. Th I just. I was. Fortunate enough to get a 3060. And now you're tempting me. That might not be a bad idea. Huh, okay. Might I might be able to do that. I'm thinking about that. Although I do want a physical. Oh no, now the physical dilemma. It's on Game Pass. Oh, that is true. I haven't done Game Pass actually. I think the thing is is that personally, well, I don't mind doing Game Pass. How should I say it? It's a lot I want to do and I don't really have time for. And if anything, I have a ton of games. So, personally, Game Pass doesn't make sense for me as an individual. But I know for a lot of people it does. If, the, if that makes sense. I, d I don't want to hate on Game Pass because I think Game Pass is fucking phenomenal. And I think for a lot of people, I think it's absolutely the way to go. I think it's a wonderful thing. I don't think it's just personally... I'm gonna get some sleepy. I need sleep. So yeah, that that's what I think though. I I think Game Pass is great. I think a lot of people would be very happy. I just don't think it's But it is cool to see that though. I think I think I might go into the overworld, get some items, go to the overworld, and I'll be good. Ooh, they're ethers. One MP for each magic level. Ew. No, seriously, since I haven't enjoyed an RPG as much as I have uh, played Final Fantasy VI back in... Ugh, Final Fantasy VI is so fucking good. I love VI. Caught me off guard. VI is great. It's such a beautiful experience. I I think it's still... I wouldn't say it's underrated. It's it's such a great Final Fantasy. Still one of my favorite ones. I, I would say it's my favorite Final Fantasy. 
It's just so well done. All right. I think I'm going to save it, and I'm good. Definitely a content boy. Hell yeah, man. Very good. All right. I think I'm going to go back. Let's quit out of the game. We're good. Let's 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 kick off the stream. Let's uh, what is it called? Not TLC. Um, let's close off the stream. Here we go. That Ichiban for protagonist of the century. Oh god, I love the Yakuza. Suit. I really do. It's one of my favorite ones. Actually, I have a Kiryu figure. I have a I have a Figma right here. Oh my. God. There we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster. Um, like I said, I wanted to thank Square Enix so much for allowing me to um, look at this game, allowing me to um, take my time and do do a review on it. I'm very, very grateful, and I'm so glad to be able to do it. And hopefully, 4, 5, and 6, I can do more of that. I definitely want to do port versus ports of these, so if that comes up, that'd be very, very exciting. To me. But I'm very excited. Hopefully, this, this is going to be start of something more. If you guys want to see more of... My thoughts on the Pixel Remaster. The video should hopefully be coming out tomorrow. I'm going to finish it up right now, actually. <laughs> I still have a lot of work there. But I'm going to be hoping to finish that up. Um, thank you so much to Tells Rob for uh, joining the subscription. Helps so much. Be surprised how it helps. I very, very thank you so much. Uh, to everyone who came in, I know Fireseth, um, to um, uh, Turbo, everyone who came in, thank you so much. I hope that you guys enjoyed the stream. Um, like I said, if you want to see more of the channel, uh, Twitter is a great place for to check me out. If you want to check out our Discord, talk to a ton of great people, um, just about ge video games, talk about life. Food. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Thank you so much, Sales Rob. Thank you guys. Hope you enjoy Final Fantasy. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. <laughs>